Welcome back to the Civil Rights Lawyer Channel. This footage comes to us from Paris, Texas, where we see a distraught father whose adult son was shot in the back by local police officers there. He expressed criticism of them, apparently flicked them off. He was understandably angry. What is really amazing about this footage is the response from law enforcement. Take a look. You need some help with something? You got a problem with it, do something about it. Quit, quit running around, quit running around, run your mouth, flipping us off, everything else. You're the one driving by us, flipping us off, honking your horn. You, you gonna make up your damn laws, go ahead, make them up. I'll do it. Well, do it. Do Seven something. Months. Seven do, months. Do months. Do right now. Because y'all's feelings are hurt. My feelings ain't hurt. I'm not yeah, the one. Yeah, your feelings are hurt. Who's the one riding around flipping people off, acting like a little... Like, like a little... Yeah, what you gonna yeah, say? Say it though, did I? Yeah, you wanted to. You got a problem with it, step out. I got a damn problem okay. with it, but I ain't gonna step out because I go to f***ing jail. Make me go somewhere. Make me go somewhere. I ain't. I'm just telling you, you're free to go. Ain't you're that? free to go. Ain't nobody stopping You're dismissed. Me. Okay. Go. Okay. I'm standing here, though. Dismissed. No. Nope. You're going to get the finger. Make you're going to get the fine. finger. That's fine. Right there, b Then you're going to get talked to. So this video brings up issues of First Amendment retaliation and also Fourth Amendment interactions between law enforcement and citizens. Now, this took place, again, Paris Police Department in Texas. I believe it was in Sherman, Texas. And it shows an interaction between a guy named Joey Carrico, whose son was shot by the police like seven months earlier. That ended in his son being paralyzed. One of the officers that was involved in the shooting, this guy, Officer Derek Belcher. Now, I'll go ahead and fast forward to tell you the, the result of this interaction is that this guy was placed on paid administrative leave while the department conducts a review of what happened. So watch this footage. Let's go through it, discuss the legal aspects of it. Maybe you want to reach out to officials in Paris, Texas, and give them some uh, encouragement for their internal review. Let's go through it. Need some help with something? So apparently what had happened here is this Officer Belcher had observed Mr. Carrico driving around in his Jeep Wrangler. And apparently Carrico had flicked him off, flipped him off. And that resulted in the officer following him and confronting him in an empty parking lot. Do what? Well, it seemed like we helped you out pretty good before. You got a problem with it, do something about it. Quit, quit running around, quit running around, run your mouth, flip us off, everything else. Now this is just pretty sick. When he says we helped you out before, what he's referring to is shooting his son in the back. And now he's taunting him to do something to allow him to either shoot him or arrest him. Do what? I said you ain't got nothing over me. I ain't saying I got nothing over you. You're the one that acts like you need help or something. You need help or something? You're the one driving by us, flipping us off, honking your horn, sitting outside the PD. Do you need help with something? Call your attorney. This is a voluntary contact. Voluntary? I ain't, I ain't got you held here for nothing. Just don't do your job. I am doing my job. What is that doing? Involving stuff with me? Nothing. Hello? This is on too. You're the, one, to be you're the one acting like you need I'm help or something. Act, I don't need no damn help. All right, then you're free to go. I haven't stopped you. All right, what he's referring to here is a consensual encounter. Okay, so police officers are taught that if they're engaging in a consensual encounter, which means it's, it's theoretically consensual, that the person's free to leave at any time, that the Fourth Amendment is never triggered. And that is correct. The question is, is, is whether that's true. At what point is the Fourth Amendment triggered? That's, well, the point where the contact between police officer and citizen is no longer consensual at the point at which he's free to leave. Now, that can be based on things that are said. It can also be based on, you know, whether a reasonable person would feel that they were actually free to leave under those circumstances. Damn hand on your side, motherfucker. Okay, hey, you want to use profanity, you can go to jail for disorderly conduct. There's people out and about. You're going to make up your damn laws. Go ahead, make them up. I'll do it. 
Now, one quick point with these disorderly conduct statutes. A lot of times police officers like to arrest people who are arguing with them for disorderly conduct because they're using profanity. But some states, including mine, you got to check the case law because uh, in West Virginia, for instance, the law does not allow the police officer to be the one to hear the profanity and be so sensitive and get offended to to establish the you know probable cause for violation of a disorderly conduct statute. There has to actually be some other third person there to hear the profanity and in some cases to actually complain about it. Belcher. Belcher. I was there that night too. Yeah, you a duck yeah. kid. Yeah. Well, yeah. You see what I got y'all before, didn't you? You see what it's going to get you in seven months? Well, do it. Do seven something. Seven months. Seven do months. Do something right now. Why am I going to do something right now? I don't know. You're the one acting like you need help, like you got a problem. Your day's coming. Yeah, in okay. court. In court. Okay, bitch. okay. Yeah. In court. So sure. You've already been there, right? I gotta go back, buddy. That's what I thought too. Yeah. Because y'all's feelings are hurt. My feelings ain't hurt. I'm not yeah, the one. Yeah, your feelings are hurt. Who's the one riding around flipping people off, acting like a little, like like a little? Yeah, what you gonna yeah, say? Say it though, did I? Yeah. You yeah. wanted to. Your son made his decision that night, okay? My son was suicidal. Okay. Well, he's and alive. you shot your officer. Shot him in the back. He's alive, then, ain't he? You mother. Okay. You got a problem with it? Step out. I got a damn problem okay. with it, but I ain't gonna step out because I go to f***ing jail. Okay. Well, then you have a nice day. Well, then f*** off. Okay. Get the f*** out of here, then. I'm standing go right here. Go do your goddamn job. I ain't going anywhere. Here's one issue I see. So certainly we have an issue of professionalism. Certainly I would imagine internal department policy violations by this guy really engaging in some egregious behavior. Now, does that rise to the level of constitutional violations? Maybe, maybe not. But one thing that very well could come up here, especially if there's a civil lawsuit, is this color of law. One of the things you always have to prove for a Section 1983 suit, that the police officer is acting under color of law. A police officer can act in an off-duty capacity. They can be on duty and also still act in an off-duty capacity if they're having some sort of private disagreement, a private conversation. A defense that can always be asserted by the government if you file a civil rights lawsuit is, well, he wasn't acting under color of law. He was acting as a private citizen. I can see where that could possibly come up and, and this is an issue, though I don't think that would be a great defense here for obvious reasons. He's on duty, he's wearing a uniform, they're discussing things that occurred while on duty, he's calling for backup on the radio, and so on. Make me go somewhere. Make me go somewhere. I ain't. I'm just telling you, you're free to go. Ain't you're that? free to go. Ain't nobody You're dismissed. Me. Okay. Go. Okay. I'm standing here, though. Dismissed. No. This is recorded. That's good. I'm glad you got, you got yours recording. I'm going to record yeah. it too. Yeah. Yeah. Now you going to say something else? No, I'm talking. Everything I've said has been recorded. Yeah, everything I say has been recorded. I know. And you're f***ing with me. I know. Yeah, I, yeah, you do know you're f***ing with me. Yeah, you're harassing me. How's that? Getting out with somebody driving by flipping us off? You're going to get the finger. You're going to get the finger. That's fine. Right there, b***h. Then you're going to get talked to. You know what? You My dad go. worked for y'all 30 years and you showed him some f***ing disrespect when you didn't put that mother in jail, did you? Who? Who do you want in jail? Bristol, uh, uh, He goes to jail all the time. Yeah, he needs to be thrown in the f***ing prison. Putting people like you there. Ha ha, like me? Yeah. I'm not a f***ing criminal, well, Yeah, you are. No, I'm not. So that's why you got court. Because I told him that night I was going to shoot him? Yeah, that's why you got court coming up, because you got criminal charges. That makes you a criminal. I'm not a criminal, I don't, I don't, I don't break the law intentionally. Okay. Neither do we. Apparently, you're fucking harassing me right now. How am I harassing you? I'm in a public parking lot. You fathered me. I no, flipped I you off and you fathered me because you didn't like it. Because sure you, you didn't fucking like it. I'm so. making sure you don't need anything. You're free to go. I don't go. need nothing. You're free to go. Dismiss. Go. I'm not going anywhere. Oh, damn. You ain't very big, are you? No, I'm not. No, you ain't. And you have to like a big I'm motherfucker. I'm going to tell you right now, if you're going to use your language and everything right there, you're going to go to jail for disorderly conduct, okay? Okay. I won't say another cuss word, dude. Okay. Okay. 22-14-15. You got your hand on the side by your gun. Is that illegal? No, it's not illegal. Do you have a problem with it? Yeah. Then do something about it. You don't want me to. Do it. You don't want You'll me to. You'll get away with it. It's just me and you right you now. Yeah, it is just me and you. Yeah. I go to jail, motherfucker. Hmm? You got your little backup game. Where I is, is anybody else here? Ain't nobody here right now. It's me and you. Just me and you. Take your gun off. Take your badge off. Take your taser off. Huh? Take it off. Do it. Take your clothes off. Why would I take it off? Because then it's just me and you, wouldn't it? Go ahead. 
It'd just be me and you then. Well, it's just me and you. No. It's you just got shit on. It's just me and you. I've been with Mr. Coco behind for I did. I think he's leaving now. You're the one driving away? We're just here to settle a problem if you got it. I got a problem. Yeah. You're gonna find out in seven months. You're gonna Mr. find Carico. out in seven months. <laughs> bye bye. You have a nice day. Hey, tell, you, tell your son we said hi. Some people will watch this and say, yeah, well, this is when a-holes collide. Just rewind just a little bit and look at the split screen footage where you see one guy in his Jeep or standing outside his Jeep with his cell phone. Okay, unarmed. He's a citizen. He's angry about his son. Then on the other side, you see a representative of the government wearing a uniform, having a badge with a taser and a pistol and his hand on his pistol. He's got the authority to basically shoot and kill him. So this is not when a-holes collide. This is when the government collides with its own citizens. The government is not entitled to be an a-hole to, to its citizens. Really, th there's no doubt here that this police officer acted improperly. Did it rise to the level of constitutional violations? Probably not. The more effective thing here is to just expose to the public how this guy acted, how this guy probably has acted in other circumstances. And that, in turn, may also expose what happened with the shooting of this man's son, which, as I understand it, was, of course, sent to a grand jury in Texas where you just have a confidential proceeding and a prosecutor, and surprise, surprise, there's a no true bill return, meaning that the officers are basically exonerated and not charged. Whether we like it or not, public exposure like this on YouTube or on Facebook or on Twitter, that is really the most effective thing that you can do. So if you're asking, what can I do to help here? Spread this, spread this video. The more people that see it, the more accountability we get, if any. If you like looking at this sort of stuff and going over your constitutional rights, and even I have to constantly relearn things that I've already learned, reread cases. So I think it's a healthy thing to do. If you like to do it as well, please subscribe and, and join me because there's constantly interesting, awful, exciting, unusual things happening. Interactions between the government and citizens every day across the country. Thanks for watching. Remember, freedom is scary. Deal with it. I'll see you next time.